So by now you probably know that the longer the barrel is on a firearm, the faster that bullet is going to travel. You probably also know that the velocity listed on a box of ammunition is typically measured at the factory with a longer barrel. So the question is, realistically speaking, how fast is 22 long rifle and how does that compare to the velocity listed on the box of ammunition? Well, today I've got my Trailblazer Life Card. I've got four different boxes of 22 long rifle ammunition. We're gonna see if we can answer those questions. So let's go. What's up crew, it's Chris with CloverTac. Welcome back to the channel. Now I do have my Caldwell Chronograph down range. We're gonna to get to some testing on this ammunition here in a second. Before we do, I wanna talk real quickly about the life card from our friends over at Trailblazer. Now this is a tiny, tiny little handgun, basically the size of a credit card, less than two and a half inches wide, less than three and a half inches wide when it's of course folded up. Seven ounces, so less than a half a pound overall weight. Thickness, right around a half inch. And what makes it a really good candidate for our testing purposes today is that the life card here from Trailblazer only has a two and a half inch barrel. Now the ammunition we're gonna be taking a look at today is of course higher velocity ammunition, starting out with some Remington Viper 22. Now the stated velocity on the box for this stuff is 1,410 feet per second. Next up, the Winchester Super X, a velocity stated on the box of 1,435 feet per second. Then we got the ever so popular CCI Stingers, at 1,640 feet per second. And finally, we're gonna end it out with some of the Federal Punch. This is a new ammunition. Now, the interesting thing with the Federal Punch ammunition is they give us two different velocities. The first is with that normal longer barrel length and that velocity 1,650 feet per second. But they also say that the velocity of the Federal Punch will be around 1,080 feet a second in a two inch barrel. Now I'm just curious if you have any experiences to share with higher velocity 22 long rifle ammunition. If you do, by all means, drop those down in the comments below. Before we get started, as always, safety is first. Got my eyes on my ears in. Let's do this. Now we're gonna fire three rounds of each of these ammunitions through that chronograph. Here we go with the first round, starting with the Remington Viper 22. It looks like we've got a velocity on that one of 864 feet per second. Round number two of the Remington Viper 22. Here we go. Looks like that one chronoed out at 858 feet per second. Pretty close on the velocities there. Third and final shot with the Remington Viper 22. And that one measured out at a whopping 885 feet per second. Now we're on to three rounds of the Winchester Super X ammunition. Here we go. And that first round of Super X coming in at 871 feet per second. Second round of Winchester Super X. I get the thing cocked here. Here we go. A little bit lower at 866 feet per second on that second round. Third and final round with the Winchester Super X. And now we're back up there again around 873 feet per second. And now we're on to the ever so popular CCI Stingers. First round, here we go. You can definitely tell from the recoil from the report, those are, it's definitely a hotter ammunition. Uh, coming in as far as the velocity, 1,003 feet per second, so significantly faster than the previous two ammunitions. All right, round number two of the CCI 
stingers. We got 8,014 feet per second on that one. Third round with the CCI stingers. Here we go. And that's interesting. Now, CCI, pretty good quality ammunition, but uh, that one also chronoed out at 1,014 feet per second. Now we're on to the Federal Punch ammunition here, which uh, they tout as their personal defense ammunition. It is the hottest, the fastest ammunition of the bunch. First round, here we go. And we've got recoil, we've got report, uh, similar to those CCI stingers, but that first round, 1,040 feet per second. So coming in on the Corano significantly faster than the CCI stingers. Here we go with round number two from the Federal Punch ammunition. And that one not quite as fast coming in reading at 1,024 feet per second, but still uh, up there compared to the CCI Stingers. All right, final round through the chrono with the Federal Punch. Here we go. All right, interesting. Like the CCI, we've got a similar velocity there, 1,040 feet per second. So that tells me that the uh, Federal Punch on par far as consistency it seems like with the CCI Stinger but let's uh, crunch some numbers let's crunch some data here and see what we can figure out as far as the velocities in relationship to barrel length across these four different types of ammunition. Now if we take a look here at the data we can see that the average velocity the average realized velocity there on the right on all four of these significantly lower than what the box states uh, there on the left. Uh, I do find two things interesting. Number one is um, how much hotter the CCI Stingers and that Federal Punch is compared to, of course, the Remington Viper 22 and that Winchester Super X. Uh, but what is maybe even a little bit more impressive is that when Federal gives their two different velocities right, that 1600 50 velocity for the longer barrel and the 1080 for the shorter barrel at 1040 uh, on uh, the high end of those shots we come in really close to that 1080 so federal punch is closer to uh, their stated velocity on the box than any of the other brands but if i miss something in that analysis by all means jump down in the comments below let me know let me know your thoughts let me know your opinions and if you're looking for more 22 stuff here on the channel maybe even the accuracy of this federal punch ammunition i got you some videos right here as for this one we're done so thanks for hanging out thanks for watching and until next time don't forget to chain fire freedom